Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good afternoon everyone, ladies and gentlemen First of all, I would like to thank God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Who has been giving us blessing and mercies so that we can attend to this meeting in a good condition. I also want to thank the Honorable Bapak Soharno, who, uh, as the lecturer of this course, who might be watching this video, for giving me the opportunity to deliver the speech. And to all my friends who have provided support so that I can stand here. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Karita Talosia. I'm an English education student from Universitas Nubika, Indonesia. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on this occasion, I would like to share the role of music in language learning. Let me start by asking you some questions. Do you like music, pop, or R&B, jazz, and so on? Yes. yes! Do you like or ever listen to song in English? Maybe often or always, once or twice? Yes! yes. 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 Yeah, I think uh, if of, uh, each of you have listened to song and one of which is in English, right? Well, music is everywhere. Music is incredibly powerful. Uh, it can make you feel uh, many different emotions and bring you happiness, energy, or calm. It can reduce our anxiety or depression. It can uh, inspire you and capture your imagination. And it can also be an incredibly uh, useful tool for learning English. English songs have their own charms and are generally uh, liked by many people all over the world. In fact, many musicians who are not uh, from British or not American or we can say not native English make uh, music in English, right? Uh, so this proof that English in music or English songs provide interest and can be a strong candidate for language learning. Uh, for example, uh, listening to music uh, in English will enhance uh, our language comprehension. It can increase uh, our vocabulary and has our listening skill, uh, reading skill, and then speaking skill, writing skill, and we follow our cultural knowledge. Uh, for instance, songs contain a conversational language and then short word and many personal pronouns which are spoken at a slower rate with various repetition allowing them to be processed easily, efficiently, and amusing. The structure makes some as magnificent tools for learning vocabulary or for uh, fortifying words uh, already learned. Uh, in addition, uh, music can 
improve our listening skill. Uh, when we listen to a song in foreign language, for example, in this songs, uh, we are often compelled to pay close attention to the lyrics, melody, and rhythm. And then this can help us develop our listening skill and train our ear uh, to distinguish different sound and accent in the language. A music can also improve our pronunciation and tone. When singing along to music or songs, the singer may imitate the singer pronunciation, right? Yes. yes. And really while listening to song. This can help us develop a more natural and authentic accent when speaking the language. So that have alignment between beat and strong side syllable can aid in language learning because specific sounds are emphasized. Often, some use informal language and slang word we may not uh, otherwise know or make us aware of culture, situation, or troubles. Uh, it's saying academic Mark Jan and Dr. Carmen Fonseca Mora discuss how although no one type of music works the best, foreign or foreign protest sounds are good, for example. They are typically motivational clear and repetitive and give an insight into the country's culture without causing problems for the learners. A listener may even feel inclined to uh, discuss or research that situation which could be a good opportunity, uh, a real good learning opportunity. Uh, moreover, multiple studies have shown uh, that music can stimulate learning and promote the memorization in, in a natural way. Just like when we are kids, um, music has the music has the power to shape your brain to make learning other language easier and smoother. It makes sense that um, music is associated with uh, with verbal skills because both are song based. Thus, uh, music show uh, interfere with verbal, verbal working memory, not visual stimuli. Verbal working memory could be this similarity because it includes auditory speech, tonal stimuli, and, and written language. In conclusion, uh, listening to music in foreign language can make uh, learning more fun and interesting. Meanwhile, there are several benefits uh, of uh, music in language learning, especially in English learning such as increasingly 
vocabulary, practicing listening skills, a speaking skill which includes word pronunciation, writing skills, and uh, even helping with the development of culture and knowledge. In addition, music can uh, promote our memorization and stimulate our brain in learning. Thus, it's very, very possible to learn English through music or songs. Well, I think that's all that I can say. I hope what I say and share with you guys is beneficial for all of us. I apologize for the less or more. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.